Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today let's talk about Melody Holt and Destiny Paid. Now there was a money transaction to have taken place where Melody sent Destiny some money to her PayPal account. Now last week, Destiny was asked a question on Instagram Live about the money and did Melody loan her the money? Well, we all know it wasn't a loan. Destiny referred to the money given from Melody as a gift. But Melody says she PayPal Destiny some money because there was a need. So Melody specifically said on the nightcap of Carlos King, you don't have to ask me for anything. If I see there is a need, I'm going to do all I can to help you. And at the time when Destiny was saying that Melody was not a good friend, she was saying that because Melody wasn't picking up her phone or answering her text messages as fast as she wanted her to. And also being the village that she needed her to be as a newly single divorced woman with a small child. But at the time after the reunion, Melody said that she needed a break because filming is a lot. And that is why she goes on vacation to get herself together and she disconnects from some of her friends. Because how can you pour into somebody else from an empty cup? You know, that's just being real. So she goes on vacation to get herself back together. So Destiny says that the money that Melody sent, the money was not for a light bill. She said, as you talk to friends and you go through things, you talk about stuff. There was never a conversation about a light bill between Melody and myself. But on the nightcap with Carlos King, Melody came out as if she saw the utility notice on Destiny's door and that's how she knew there was a financial need at the time. But keep in mind too, during the nightcap, Carlos King came back and asked Melody, was there a notice on Destiny's door? And Melody said yes and that's how she became aware that she needed some money to pay her bills. So Carlos said, well, how much did you send her? And Melody says somewhere between five to $6,000. But Destiny said that the amount that was quoted by Mel was incorrect. And Melody sent her a total of $4,000. But the $4,000 that was sent to her, some of it was for sponsorships, some was for her bills. But at the end of the day, it was a gift. That's what Destiny is saying. And Destiny said that she did not mention anything of there being a particular financial need. So y'all take a listen. You know, at the end of the day, Destiny is not owning up to what Melody is saying. Like, she's not. She's saying that, yes, Melody did send me some money, but I thought it was a gift not a financial need but it could have been too you know destiny took it as a gift but at the time when melody sent it she sent the money to Destiny's paypal and she took it as helping a friend to get caught up on her bills because most people that i know their monthly bills are not between five to six thousand dollars a month if you're sending your friend that type of money it means that they're probably trying to get caught up on some bills but again melody says that she saw the bill for herself and she thought that there was a financial need. And so before I play the small clip of Destiny, I also want to give a shout out to Speak With Your Girl, Marcella on YouTube. She was the one who was on Destiny's Instagram Live asking all these questions, honey. But take a listen to the video. As I always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. I'm not angry. I'm passionate about who I am as a character and who I am as a person. My character okay. and, my, and who I am as a person. So for people to continue to lie up on me, I'm going to be passionate about it. That doesn't make me angry. I might be very assertive, but I'm not angry at all. Next of all, just because I, I respond, I, I'm on a reality show does not mean I should be allowing people to lie and bully on me. That's what is the, what is the blueprint for being on a reality show? I'm supposed to allow people to lie on me. I'm supposed to allow people to bully me. I'm supposed to allow people to say whatever the hell they want to say to me because I'm a public figure. That's not that's not what people sign up for a reality for reality show for. And it doesn't make it right. One thing, Melody, and I'm gonna say her name because you asked me. Normally I would not loan me any money. Melody gifted or gifted because she just put it in my account without me even knowing. The amount that was said is not accurate. There were sponsorships that we're paid for if that's the case then i owe a couple of people on the show some money because they we all and hell they owe me some money because we've all sponsored each other's events as business owners so to answer your question in the moment i felt that that person was being a good friend and other part of that the number that was quoted is not accurate and none of that matters there was no money for a light bill 
as you talk to friends and you go through things, you talk about stuff. There were a conversation about a light bill ever between the two of us that I recall. Let me say that. But never was it, hey, here is money for your light bill. All of a sudden, I just got money in PayPal because I had bought things from the whole enterprise. And so she had my PayPal and it showed up. And I called her and to thank her for that because it was a random gift that I thought was from the heart. But I think too, a part of me um, knowing how great of a friend I have been and people rather are choosing to run with a narrative as if I'm not a good friend <laughs> when they know I've had their back. Even when, even after the reunion, when they were questionable and I still was going to try to just still push it to the back, move forward. I still had your back. You know, knowing the kind of friend that I have been and the ways that I've come through, even financially, and I've come through. You don't have, I don't know about y'all, but you don't have a lot of friends out here who will just give you thousands of dollars at a time because they know you're in need. Because they understand your situation. And that's why this narrative of me lacking empathy or sympathy and all of this different stuff, it's like, really? Like, you know, you, you know what's up. Like, stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Cause that's the kind of friend I am and that's what I've done and I got the receipts for that too when I'm ready to drop them like don't do that we know you know <laughs> you know the kind of friend I've been I think that was another thing too you know when we were all together just like don't sit here and let somebody act like I'm such a bad friend when well, you know that's not true when well, you know that you know what I'm saying when you know that, your PayPal proves that. I'm a very good friend. I'm gonna have your back. Yep. So, mm -mm. not gonna do it. For those of y'all who's smart enough and read through all the bull crap, good. <laughs> good. Great. When I'm friends with people, I do a lot of the pouring into. I do. I do. Mel, don't discuss what you did what you did for your friend. It's not that I'm you've never heard me even speak on it. So it's not that I'm trying to discuss what I did for a friend because you've never heard me speak on it until someone is trying to and I, I that's just the facts. It's not that oh I want to discuss it. I'm giving the facts. The facts is don't act like I've not been a good friend. Don't do that. You know, don't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Like, always keep it 100 all the way across the board. Everyone across the... You keep it 100 across the board. So, but that's the thing. People don't like when people start coming with facts. Then y'all turn it around and make it be like, see, that ain't what you should do. That ain't what you should do. When people come with facts because they want to keep the narrative in their minds that they've made up in their minds to feel a certain way about people or feel a certain way about a situation. I'm going to lay the facts out and only the truth. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care what it seems like. Tell me that something's not from the heart when I discuss it prior to it being a reason that I'm discussing it then it's not from the heart. But if I'm having to, to defend or really show you another side of something, I'm gonna pull out everything that shows another side of it. For example, I'm also that friend who will randomly send flowers to you because you having a bad day. But y'all don't hear about that, do y'all? Y'all don't hear about that. And I'm not talking about this past Valentine's Day. I'm talking about before that. I'm that friend. But I'm such a bad friend. That's what I'm saying. But when I start giving y'all facts, I tell y'all sometimes people want to, whichever way they can make it negative for male that makes them feel better, then let that make you feel better. 
but I'm gonna lay the facts down when they need to be laid down. You've never heard me talk about this stuff. Because it wasn't, uh, ne not ne it wasn't necessary. However, I'm gonna tell the truth. If people wanna paint a different picture, I can tell the truth. Not to go back and forth, because I'm probably never gonna talk about it again. But I'm just being honest. People don't like the truth, facts. You say, don't say something you did for a friend. Well, don't let a friend who helps you or do, do something for you, don't dog them out or talk about them or try to make them seem like they ain't a good friend. How about that? Like, can we start from the root of it? The root piece? Like, what made this response happen or what made, what made this happen where this person is saying this? Let's get to the root. When you have a good friend in your life, treat them as such. Can we start there? Don't try to make it seem like they're not. Or they weren't. <laughs> Don't do that. That's the root. I hate how people always, it's just like when things happen and people get mad at the reactor versus, you know, the root or the cause of the reaction. Start over on that. Like, why are you not saying, dang, why why have somebody, you know, somebody who's your friend looking out for you? Why would you do this to them? Why would you lie? Why would you say this? Why would you say that? Why we ain't saying that? Instead, y'all saying, don't say what you did for a friend. Child, that's why I do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it. Because a lot of times people, y'all be so fickle and so wishy-washy and be so sometimes hypocritical with your thought process. That's why I do what I want to do what makes me feel good because baby whew, the thought process sometimes be off people start fires and get mad when they get burned P perfect fight.